2018, you will have joy. In 2018, you'll have gladness. Gladness and joy is not subject to happiness. Gladness and joy is delivered to you by God. There are four things or five in the interest of time that will help you move from a place of, of barrenness into a place of fruitfulness, a place of shame, into a place of abundance and a place of rejoicing. What is going to help you move from a place of barrenness to a place of fruitfulness is your ability to plan. When you plan, your plan naturally will eliminate certain people. And your plan naturally will attract certain people. Before we pray, we need to do what? To plan. The Bible says you need to make your requests known unto God. By the time you come to prayer, you already have a request. In other words, you are planning certain things. And those are the things you bring to God in prayer. Not only are you going to plan, but you are going to learn to be present. Many times we talk about the presence of God, but we hardly talk about our own presence. Learn to be present to serve God, present to worship God, present to thank God, present to honor Him, present to give to Him, present to praise Him. Somebody say amen. David was present and God called him. People who are present, God looks for people who are present. I pray in 2018, wherever you are called, you'll be present in Jesus' name. Not only are you going to be present, but you're also going to be praying. Some will say praying. If God is going to move you from a place of barrenness in 2018, learn to pray. Learn to pray. Just have a lifestyle of prayer. When you choose to pray, you connect yourself with the supernatural. When you pray, you don't have a reason to worry. Because God is not deaf. He's a God who answers prayer. Not only are you going to pray, but you are also going to value people. Value people. Cultivate good relationships with people. Honor people. God will deliberately cause you to connect with the people who are going to take you to destiny. After all these wonderful things you have done, listen, child of God, at the end of the day, you need the power of God. We are going to believe in the limitless power of God. Nothing will change except you come to a place where you know it is only the hand of God that will change. And not because I've been perfect and I've done everything right, but because God has simply been gracious unto me. There are things you need to do as a person. But ultimately, after all has been said and done, you could pray all you want. You could have all the people all you want. You could plan all you want. You could be present here day in, day out until you begin rusting. But until the power of God hits you. None of what you, of the above is going to change nothing. Somebody say amen. As you cross in 2018, I want you to believe in the power of God. I want you to believe in the grace of God. I want you to believe in the mercy of God and say, Lord, my prayer may not change anything, but I know your power can change everything. Somebody say amen. <laughs>